Peggy 12. Welcome to the third volume of our web series, Once Upon a Time in the Sims Medieval. Come with us as we open the pages of this piece of history to discover how to create your own hero authentic to the period. Will you be a hardy knight, tyrannical monarch, or sneaky spy? It's up to you to write your own story. But enough talk. Let us return without further ado into Once Upon a Time in Sims Medieval. In the last episode, we took a peek behind the scenes of the studio to check out the decor, costumes, and the sounds of the game. Now let's talk about the most fundamental element of all in your game, your hero. Use your own very creative workshop and make your hero as gorgeous and as unique as you like. In a couple of mouse clicks, it's possible to entirely transform your character's appearance, hairstyle, facial features, body shape, and of course, outfit. But the most important decision is how to choose two defining personality traits out of the many available. You might choose to make your hero brave and alluring, but nothing to stop you from making him or her egotistical and Machiavellian instead. My name is Samantha Lau. I am the senior product manager for The Sims Medieval. The traits themselves range from the obvious traits, such as the chivalrous, adventurous, and scholarly traits, to the not-so-obvious traits, like the whale ate my parents' traits. These traits come with unique actions, wants, and needs that will really make The Sims come to life and have distinct and unique personalities. But every hero has a fatal flaw in The Sims Medieval, and yours is no exception. Choose wisely, because it will influence the whole game. Hi, my name is Rachel Bernstein. I'm the senior producer for The Sims Medieval. The fatal flaw is actually something that can make it harder for your Sim to be successful in the world. So, for example, your Sim might be a drunkard. A drunkard might not get any work done and be in constant search for alcohol. Whereas a workaholic may get all of his work done, but be in constant poor health due to lack of sleep. Each trait and flaw will need to be dealt with differently, and you'll see very different results depending on which ones you've chosen. If your hero proves his or her bravery and courage throughout the epic quests, this fatal flaw could become a legendary trait. The life of your character can change just like that. A scared cat can become an audacious adventurer, a recluse, a charismatic leader, but it won't reveal too many possibilities. It's up to you to discover exactly what kind of legend your medieval sim will become. I'm Aaron Cohen, Senior Marketing Director for The Sims Medieval. You'll discover some, some features that feel like RPG features. And those features are things like quests, combat, crafting. And those features really serve as a backdrop to tell stories. The Sims Medieval is still very much a game about telling stories. It's probable that you will find yourself face to face with the odd sword fight during the course of your adventures. Seize the moment to discover a completely new side to The Sims. At the same time you're questing, you are worrying about your sim's day-to-day -day lives, what their responsibilities are, what their jobs are, who they have relationships with, so you're constantly managing their day-to-day -day functions. Your sim might become the biggest legend in the land, but he better not forget his jobs. It's up to you to choose to do them or not, but better be prepared to suffer the consequences if you don't. The inhabitants of the sim's medieval don't like people who don't do their jobs. If the physician isn't handing out enough potions to the sick, or the blacksmith not forging armor fast enough, then one of the characters might well find himself in the stocks in the village square, under fire from rotten tomatoes. And then, even more severe, they could be pushed into the pit of judgment, where a monster awaits. And if the sim is quite strong in combat, the sim might be able to crawl his way out of that hole. However, most sims will not. Most sims who enter the pit of judgment will never return. That's a big risk to run if your sim misses out on his daily chores. Or perhaps you've deliberately sent your hero to the Pit of Judgment to test his bravery. Remember, in The Sims Medieval, it's up to you to write your own history. Thus, the third volume of our ancient Once Upon a Time in The Sims Medieval draws to a close. In the next episode, we find out more about how quests work and how all actions have consequences. For the sake of your kingdom, miss not the fourth historic volume of Once Upon a Time in The Sims Medieval.